Jesus, when he ascended the mountain with his disciples, was transfigured before them. That is, it's actually the Greek word metamorphos, metamorphosis. He, he was metamorphized, revealing something to his disciples that was already there, something they all, that already existed but they hadn't seen, his glory. And in revealing his glory, several things happened. One, his disciples were changed. Because to see God's glory is to be changed. The scripture says, when we see him, we will be like him. That is, to see is to be transformed. This is why two people could look at Jesus and one see the Son of God and the other see a Jewish troublemaker, right? That what we see depends on who we are. What's in our heart determines how our eyes or our, how our mind interprets what we see. And so his disciples saw his glory. And what was this glory? It was the glory of the Father. And we often say that in this transfiguration, Jesus is manifesting his divinity. But he's actually manifesting something even more profound than that, and actually more frightening than that. He's manifesting his divine humanity. That is, he's manifesting the fact that it is possible for a human being to radiate with the glory of the Father. What else does it mean to be created in God's image if we cannot manifest the nature of God? What is God's? Radiating with the light of God. But most of us don't radiate very well. <laughs> you know, most of us... Uh, don't have eyes to see even what radiation's there, what light from God is there. And yet, that doesn't mean that it's not there. That is, when we are baptized, when we eat and drink the body and blood of Christ, when we pray, the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit who abode in Jesus, the Holy Spirit is abiding and manifesting itself in us. And it is true that most of us don't glow when we pray, although apparently some people do. I've heard about it. I've never seen it myself, right? Most of us don't glow when we pray, and, and perhaps some of us do, but we just don't have the eyes to see it. But we can see something, and this is what we can see. There's a verse in the Bible that talks about the light of piety. And I don't like using that word piety because we misunderstand it. We think it means doing religious stuff. Piety is to do religious stuff. But it, it doesn't really mean I mean, although religious stuff could be part of piety, that's not really what it's about. What it's about, piety is about manifesting the life of God in time and space. What, what does God look like in time and space? How does one unite with God in time and space? That's what piety is about. And it's manifest, amazingly, by what's called fruit, the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, patience, kindness, meekness, gentleness, faith, self-control, goodness. Goodness is in there somewhere. That is, when these things are manifested, 
It is nothing other than the grace of God. If I show mercy, whose mercy is it? God is the merciful one. And so it's nothing less than the very life and energy of God working in us that enable us to be merciful. When I show kindness, when I'm gentle, I love that gentleness is in that list. Right? Gentleness. Sometimes we think, oh, you know, the important thing is to get the job done. <coughs> but not to God. The important thing is how. Gently. With patience, with kindness, with self-control. These are the things that manifest the power of God in our life just as much as if we could see one another glowing in the dark. Right? So may God help us Amen. to love one another and to manifest His light in this world. In the name of the Father, Amen. and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.